Hamooligans, hamooligans, spell like jam, but sounds like hell. Hamooligans, hamooligans, listen along with your friends and fam. It's time to hear from the pastors again. Welcome in to Hamooligans, a roundtable discussion of the pastors of Hamool Community Church in San Diego, California. I'm Ryan, associate pastor, and I'm here with Cole Loftus, the worship leader and youth director at JCC. How you doing today, Cole? I am doing good, man. It's a, it's a beautiful day. It's pretty warm outside and nice and sunny day. So Valentine's Day is when we're recording this. So yeah, it's, it's a nice day. It's a beautiful day. Now, how are you getting over the Super Bowl? Like I know, you know, you left. The last thing you said in our worship service yesterday was, was go Bengals. So yeah. How are you, you feeling okay yeah. today? Yeah. You know, I, I can't say that I'm like a, a diehard fan for, uh, for the Bengals. I mean, I, like years ago I just picked a team that I wanted to root for and it happened to be the Bengals and um a lot of people said that I looked like their uh Andy Dalton their their previous quarterback so I was like yeah sure I'll root for him whatever I don't care and uh so but then it just kind of dropped off and I had hadn't really watched them and then this year everybody was saying like oh man Bengals are doing really good this year yeah and then they went to the Super Bowl and so I kind of felt I felt kind of like a like a cheater almost because I like hadn't been rooting for them for so long and then all of a sudden they're in the Super Bowl so now I'm hopping back on the bandwagon but uh but yeah no I I it was a bummer it was a good game uh it was, I, I thought it was a good game uh, right. both teams were scoring a lot the defense was really good so um yeah no it was it was, it was a fun fun game to watch nice nice yeah I didn't know you did have that history with the Bengals I thought that was just kind of like hey flip a coin and you went with the Bengals but wow you you go back a ways yeah yeah we have a history yeah. Yeah. Now, now Vic, uh, I see you're in Vic's old office there, Cole. So, um, you know, that's, that's just a new thing. And that's actually why we have you on the show today, just to kind of introduce you to those who don't know you at JCC. And I know you've been, been there a long time and have family history there, but, but yeah, you're, you're on staff now at JCC and this is your first Mulligans episode. So, so welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I know Vic's, it's kept this place really nice for me, so I'm I'm thankful that I get to to continue on the, the legacy of this office. Yeah, so. <laughs> and he's listening. Not only is he you know watching, seeing your office if he's watching on YouTube, but uh, if he's listening, it was what about 83 today, sunny, and it's February 14th. So so I uh, hope you're enjoying Tennessee, Vic. We miss you a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, so mean, yep. so mean. Love Vic. Yep. But, well, thank you, listeners, for joining us. You can find this podcast and other great teachings from JCC on our church app, on iTunes, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Subscribe, leave a review. It does help to get the word out to others about good Christian content for the whole family. As pastors, why are we doing this? Well, we want to live out Colossians 1, 28, 29, proclaiming Jesus, teaching everyone so that believers might be mature in Christ. I think we got a great show. So let's jump in with a little segment we like to call looking over your shoulder today we will be looking over cole's shoulder to see what he's reading we're gonna get a peek into his personal devotion time we're gonna sneak into his house see what books on his nightstand we might need to slip maya the dog a little treat just to keep her from barking at us while we're breaking in but but we just want to find out what's crawling around in that big well-styled head of his today. Actually, it's covered by a hat if you're watching this on YouTube, so you can see the wonderful styling. But uh, Cole, tell us, what are you reading? Yeah, so I've, I've been doing a lot more. Re I definitely have never been much of a reader. Um, I didn't read a lot of books growing up, and uh, so I've been reading quite a bit more uh, since I've been going to Southern California Seminary. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm shooting for my, my undergraduate in biblical studies, and so a lot, a lot more reading is is kind of being forced upon me there. But um, yeah. we are focusing right now. I'm I'm focusing on Old Testament survey, and we're we're looking at all of the, the poetic books. So I've been reading lots of Job, lots of Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, all that all that good stuff. So it's been lots of lots of reading there, lots of learning, um, just so deep the levels that levels that you see in in Hebrew po poetry is just insane it's mind-boggling 
So that's been most of my, most of my reading there. Um, the other reading that I've been uh, doing a lot is actually, I have it right here. It's, it's the one minute Bible. Yeah. Um, we handed these out at our Christmas party um, for our, all of our Thrive students this, this past year. And uh, it's really cool. It's, I mean, it's called one minute Bible for a reason. Uh, it's got on the left, left side of the page, it's got kind of the, the view, uh, the verses and stuff like that that you can read. Doesn't take, doesn't take a very long time. It doesn't take much more than a minute a day to, uh, to read it. And then on the right side of the page, it's got some cool stuff, um, like things to think about, maybe an extra verse to try and try and uh, meditate on or, or memorize, or maybe just uh, fill out a couple questions that, that you can be left with, with uh, the scripture. So. Nice. I had a question about that because I listened to the Abundant Life podcast, which we'll talk a little bit more at the end of the show. But um, in that, does it have like kind of like for additional reading? So if you're, if you're like, you know, you did your one minute, you had, you know, your, your small devotion, is there, is there other scriptural like uh, suggestions they have? Yeah. So at the, bo- uh, at the bottom of each page, um, there's, there's a related text and additional reading. So um, there are like, you know, you start off with a short excerpt that, you know, that probably takes you just about a minute to read. Um, and, but you can obviously continue on from there. I like to, if I'm, if I'm going to read just a section, I like to kind of read the whole section, not just a couple verses out of that, um, chapter, but I like to do my best to read the whole chapter or at least the whole surrounding verses to, to better understand the context. And, um, so yeah, no, it's, it's got, it's got a lot of stuff. I mean, that's one thing that were really cool is that sure it might only take a minute if you're doing the bare minimum, but you can spend your entire morning devotion in this book because I mean, it has scripture in it. Of course it's going to, um, you can, you can spend a lot of time with it because you know, you might chew on one verse for, for a whole morning. I know that I've done that before. So. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just, I've heard you, you talk with either the, the thrive student leaders or Danny, uh, about certain things. And I'm like, Ooh, I want to go read that, you know, and, and just kind of go a little deeper into what you guys were talking about. So, so, all right. Well, thanks for letting us look over your shoulder. Hope, hope Maya liked the treat. We, we slipped her there and we're going to oh, go. I'm sure she did. I'm sure. Our next segment is called who is. Who is? Who is, is usually the segment where we look at a biography of a historic Christian, but today, since Cole's new to the JCC staff, we're going to do a who is about him. So, Cole, you're a youth director, so I know you like games, abundantly creative, lots of games, get the kids moving, get them active. So we're going to ask you to do two quick games here today. All right. All right. Let's do it. We're going to do two truths and a lie, and then we're going to okay. do one I made up called Mount Rushmore. All right. All right. So you give two truths and a lie, and then I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give a guess and see if I see it how well I know Cole Loftus. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can see how hard I can make it for you because you you already know me pretty well. But let's see. All right. Okay. Here here's what I got. I can play seven different instruments. Hmm. All right. Uh, my favorite sport, it's got to be disc golf, my favorite sport. Okay. And my favorite like series or, or tr- trilogy or whatever you want to call it um, is, is Star Wars universe, I guess. Favorite universe is Star Wars. Um, would have to be my favorite. So those are my, those are my, my, there's two truths in there and there's a lie in there somewhere. Yeah. So yeah. let's, I'm pretty sure Star Wars is true. Um, you know, we've talked about a few different shows and stuff like that. And um, I'm pretty sure, well, disc, I know disc golf's your favorite sport, so I know that's the truth. I mean, it's got to be. And then, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that you don't know seven instruments. Now, do I insult you and say, you only know six? Or do <laughs> <laughs> might do and be like i bet you know eight or like 74 instruments cole wow 74 <clears throat> that's like well, i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with the first one i think it's a lie cole well fortunately you are actually correct you guessed it you did it congratulations sweet 
no, there's no trick in that sharp mind of yours. Uh, I actually, I actually know well over a dozen different instruments. Oh my um, goodness. Yeah. So I, I, growing up, I, I was in band class a lot. And so I had pretty much endless supply of different types of instruments that I could try. And so, um, and I started playing guitar when I was about 10 years old. And so um, guitar and, and bass are, are pretty exchangeable for me um, or interchangeable. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I learned all the brass instruments. So I, I know how to play trumpet, French horn. Uh, I tried tuba and all that kind of stuff. So like I could, I could sit down and learn all those. Any stringed instruments is, is pretty, pretty easy for me to sit down. You know, I've tried violin. Violin is way too hard for me. Uh, <laughs> I might be able to play hot cross buns on it, but that's just about, a, oh. that's just about it. So, yeah. but yeah, I can, I can play, I can play, you know, I, I got drums. I got, I got plenty of things under my belt that I can, that I can play. So I was hoping to trick you with the seven, but yeah, I can, I can play probably like probably 14 or 15 different types of instruments. Wow. Impressive. Yeah. So let's get, let's get the tuba into a worship service. Okay. I would love that. I think that would be, that would be really good. We could do a marching, a marching service around the, around the, uh, the church building maybe. All right, let's do Mount Rushmore. So four people, Mount Rushmore, the way it goes is this, you're going to tell us the four people you find the most interesting or inspiring. Um, you can't just do four disc golfers, you know, you gotta, gotta branch out a little bit. You can, I didn't tell you if it, I, when I told you this dead or alive, I mean, I know it'd be, yeah, Mount Rushmore, you know, it has, it has dead people on. So anyway, there, any, any four people. <laughs> any four Matter of fact, it only has dead people on. Uh, so yeah, four people. Yeah. So, all right. Um, I will say when you, 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 you asked me, and you, you threw in that caveat of not four disc golfers. That, that really made it a challenge. Hmm. Um, but uh, I, do, I do like me some, some pro disc golf um, professionals. But I would say the, the first one, I, I've listened to a lot of, of John Piper. John Piper has been a, a pretty big um, inspiration in my life. And, uh, you know, I feel like a lot of um, – I used to have to commit. I don't have to qu commit quite as far to work anymore, but uh, I used to have to uh, drive pretty far to work. And so it was nice to be able to put on his, you know, Ask Pastor John podcast and um, listen to different sermons of his and have burning questions inside my, inside my head answered um, by, by him. Just lots of wisdom there. So that would probably be my first pick. Okay. Um, the next one. The next one would probably actually, I am going to throw a disc golfer in there. Okay, we'll give you that. Uh, yeah, his name's, his name's Johnny McRae. Um, and he's, he throws, actually, he throws for Latitude 64. I'm wearing, Whoa. I'm wearing the hat right now. But, uh, not, a sponsor for, yeah. of, not, a, not a sponsor of the podcast, but if they, if they would like to, they can contact me, Ryan at home. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be amazing. Uh, but yeah, so Johnny McRae, he's a pro disc golfer. He, um, look up to him a lot. He's, he's openly Christian and talks about his faith pretty often. And, and actually just recently, this is kind of, kind of breaking news in the, the disc golf pro tour right now. But, um, uh, Johnny McCray actually, he, he had a heart attack this past week. He was playing, yeah, he's playing on the course and he had a heart attack like mid mid throw or like while he was on the course. And, um, it was pretty awesome how, how God was working on the whole right in front of him was a doctor. Wow. And doctor came and they were able to, um, you know, keep his heart going um, until the, the ambulance got there. And then when they got to the, to the hospital, they brought his, his, his heart actually stopped for four minutes and they actually brought him back and they had heart surgery and it was really cool to watch him. He posted a video on Instagram just a couple of days ago of him walking out of the hospital and thanking his Lord and savior for giving him uh, some more time on this earth. So uh, yeah, that was really cool. I look up to him a lot. So. Okay. That's two. Yeah, that's two. I got two more. I think, okay, this one's a little more of like an interesting one, I think. Not, it's not so much, I mean, I guess inspiring in a way, but uh, more of interesting. I, I think it'd be really cool to meet Enoch hmm. from the Old Testament. Okay. You know, for, I, you don't, I mean, I don't, I don't know a lot about him. I don't think the Bible really talks all that much about him, uh, yeah. but the, the one thing is like, you know, he, he was lived to be like 300 something years old. And usually, you know, these days, and then he died. And then that's, that's how it usually goes. But with Enoch, it is like, 
and then like he <laughs> he lived this long and then he wasn't anymore yeah. and it was like wait what did, they, did he just walk into you know is he is he was alive and he just went into heaven it's like wow that's so that's definitely something that's a little interesting. I'd I'd like to I'd like to hopefully talk to him one day <laughs> about that and and yeah. ask him what that was like. So, um, and my last one, my last inspiration would definitely I'm gonna, I'm gonna go cheesy here would have to be my dad. Um, growing up, I I always wanted to be like my dad. You know, he he I we actually just talked about um, this on the Abundant Life podcast recently. My dad had a motorcycle, and so I got one of those cool, you know, custom bicycles that looked like a motorcycle because I wanted to be just like my dad. But uh, yeah, I, I look up to my dad a lot. Well, something funny that my mom would always say when we were growing up, my dad can be very, pa- he's very patient with people. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes, sometimes that would kind of annoy my mom how patient he was with people. And so she would make a joke about, you got, you got the patience of Job, you know? And, uh, and especially just after recently, as we talked earlier, you know, going through and taking a deep, deep dive and studying the book of Job and um, looking at the patience that that guy had, man, like, uh, it just made me think even more so about like, man, yeah, my, my dad does, my dad, my dad does have really, really good patience with people. And I wish that I could be more like that. And um, I, I try my best to be as, as much like him. He's, he's a big inspiration in my life. I try to look up to him as much as I can. So. That's awesome. That's not cheesy at all. That's a great, that's a great pick. <laughs> I was glad to get to meet your dad when at your, uh, your granddad's service a couple months back. So yeah, very cool. Okay. So we got Piper, we got McCray, we got Enoch and we got your dad. So that's, yeah, a, that's a great Mount Rushmore. And thanks for letting us get to know you a little bit better with that segment, Cole. Yeah, totally. And, and Johnny McCray has got a pretty sweet beard. So that would look kind of cool carved into the side of the mountain. So Oh yeah, so my dad's got like handlebar mustaches too, so it could be that like stand out. We yeah. could actually t- Teddy Roosevelt, I think, has those, so we could you know. Wow, well, no, we don't want to actually go deface Mount Rushmore, and I just think uh, that's true. That's probably not a smart idea. Yeah, we'll make our own Mount, Piper, Mount Humble. Turn Piper into George Washington. Anyway. All right. Well, before we wrap up today, um, we already kind of mentioned it, but, um, but cool. You started a new podcast, you and Danny for the, for the youth of the church it's called the abundant life podcast. Um, but you're okay with older people, like maybe like people like me even listening to it, not just, not just your youth. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I are definitely our tar- target art audience is our ta- Our target audience is for, you know, the, the youth, uh, for our middle schoolers and high schoolers, but, um, yeah, anybody can take a listen. It's a lot, it's really cool. Our, we, we're doing a couple different segments right now. It's been kind of a, what we call our hot topic of the week, which, uh, is basically, you know, Danny, Danny and I, uh, we talk about certain things, uh, past subjects have been, you know, what, what's the better Dorito flavor, nacho cheese or cool ranch. Um, our, our very first episode was, you know, what's the best dark soda. And of, of course it's, I voted for Dr. Pepper, but Danny says otherwise. So, um, but yeah, we just, you know, you know, in this podcast, we try to stay away from such divisive issues, but you guys go for it. You guys. Exactly. We, yeah, we talk about the, uh, the controversial subjects of, of today's culture. Um, the ranking of the starburst colors, there's a lot there. Um, so yeah, give it a lesson. It's awesome. And then Another another segment that we do is we talk about the uh, the one minute Bible. So right. um, really wanting to encourage our students to be in the Word every day, and um, hopefully, along with listening with this podcast, and we're all reading the same book together, um, we get to talk about it and talk about how God is is teaching us and how God is working in our lives. So. Yeah, yeah, I am a listener. I really like it. You're doing a great job with it, Cole. So so keep up the good work and. We're really, really glad you're part of the GCC staff and part of our ministry team here. Great addition. Yeah, me too. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, that's going to do it for Homoligans this week. Do remember the Homoligan slogan, whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, or admirable, or if it's excellent, or if it's praiseworthy, think on such things. That's Philippians 4, 8. Until next time. You've just listened to Homoligans, a podcast of Homol Community Church, the church home you've been looking for. Come back next week for more from the pastors.